Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can build and design your first website completely for free without paying for hosting. And we're gonna do it by hosting WordPress locally using an amazing free tool called Local. Now to get Local, all you have to do is go to their website, which is localwp.com and click download. Choose your platform. Then enter your personal information and it doesn't matter if it's accurate or not. All right, we'll save the file. Okay, so it's downloaded. Now let's just open the folder. All right, so we'll just open the folder and install it. Double click. All right, let's run the program. Agree to the TOS. You can turn on error reporting if you want. This means uh, if for whatever reason there's a crash or something, the program will send that information back to Flywheel. We're not gonna do that for the moment. And then this is just an upsell to the pro version, but you definitely don't need it. So I'm just gonna click out of this. All right, so this is the main dashboard of the local software. And what we're gonna do is just click create a new site and you can call it whatever you want. We're just gonna call it um, my first site. And by default, it'll have the domain extension .local, but you can make it whatever you want. So you can make it my first site dot website, but we're just gonna stick with .local for now. And uh, I'll show you how to use blueprints later, but we don't have any because we just installed the software. So we're just gonna hit continue. So by default, it will create a site with the preferred server configuration, and it shows you what you got here. It's got 7.3.5 version of PHP, Nginx is a web server, and MySQL version 8. And in my experience, this is the fastest option, and it's very stable. I've had some speed issues uh, if you run a custom configuration, specifically if you use the older version of MySQL. I found it to be slow, so we're going to create a server with the preferred configuration. And you can name your username and password whatever you want. I just do a uh, simple like admin admin uh, for my local sites. And then you need to make sure that you change your password when you migrate to your live site and your username as well, to be honest. And I can show you how to do that in a future video. But for now, we're just going to uh, launch the site. It's not a WordPress multi-site, so we're going to click add site. And it takes just a minute here where it installs the default version of WordPress. Okay, so it needs admin rights to uh, write to your host file, your Windows host file. And what it does is basically it tells Windows that anytime you search for the domain address of your website, which is my first website, .local, it will tell it that the site is hosted in our local folder. So I can enter my username. All right, so our website is ready to go. It'll instantly be started. You can see with the green dot here that the site has been started and you can click this to go to the admin panel or we can view the front end of the site. So if we do that, you'll see this is just a basic WordPress site running uh, one of the latest default WordPress themes. And we're just gonna go to WP admin, to login, and Okay, so we're on the back end of your site. And as you can see, uh, the site is flying. And one of the advantages of developing WordPress locally is it's just faster. The response time, I mean, there's virtually no lag when you're installing plugins um, or when you're navigating the admin panel. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, maybe get a theme here. So appearance themes, add new, I like generate press. I use the pro version of generate press and you can get that using our link in the video description if you want, but we're just gonna install the uh, the base version for now. Activate, and let's get some plugins. So, let me get an SEO plugin. I like Rank Math. There's also Yoast SEO. It's also free, but we're gonna go with Rank Math. Activate. We're gonna skip the startup wizard. Add another plugin. Short Codes Ultimate is a plugin that I install on almost all my websites. We get Edit Author Slug, which is a good security plugin, which hides your admin uh, username from the front end, so it makes it much harder for 
hackers to guess your username. And another plugin that I use on every single site is uh, called Adoptimize, and it helps you make your website load super fast. Okay, so we got a couple of plugins. And then before I show you how to make a blueprint here, I think the next thing I would do is, um, before making a blueprint, I would just configure my settings to be what I like to have them in all my websites. So I'm just gonna go to custom structure for the permalinks and make it uh, post name. And basically this will make every post be mywebsite.com slash the name of the post as the URL as opposed to one of these goofy ones that has uh, the year and the date in it. And this is basically best practice for any website that you build with WordPress for SEO purposes, you're gonna want your structure to either be uh, mydomain.com slash postname or uh, mydomain slash category slash postname. So there, those are two of the best structures you can use, but I'm just gonna use mysite.postname, save changes. All right, so this is a good default template. And then if you want to reuse this template, so say you install the same plugins and use the same configuration on every website that you're gonna build, I would set up this first site exactly how you want to uh, have all your future sites. And then we're gonna go back to the dashboard of local and we can click on this and we can save as blueprint. And you can name it whatever you want. Um, I might call it my starter blueprint. And basically it's gonna make a cloned copy of this site. And then anytime you wanna launch a new site, so we'll say create a new site, my second site, and under advanced options, we can go create a site from Blueprint. Yes, we wanna use our starter Blueprint. And we'll create the site from the Blueprint and it basically is extracting that file that it made just a minute ago. All right, so let's visit the admin panel of the site. All right, so let's log back in. And in the password will be, will be the same as we set up for our blueprint. So it's gonna be admin, admin. And if we go to our plugins, you'll see we have the exact same plugins that we installed in our first uh, site, which we made a blueprint. And if we go to permalinks, um, our permalink structure is a post name, which we selected in the blueprint as well. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how to use HTTPS. And uh, I don't know if you noticed when I logged in, but it was giving me the insecure site warning. And it doesn't matter for a local website, but if you do want to use HTTPS, uh, you can tell local to trust this basically spoofed SSL certificate as real. So we'll click trust. You'll have to enter your admin credentials if you're not an administrator. And then it says trusted. So now when we go back to the site, if we launch it as and you'll have to trust this one time, accept risk and continue. And now basically it's trusted as a HTTPS website. And now it doesn't give us that insecure warning if we want to log in. All right, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, the last thing that you need to learn is once you've built your website, you need to migrate it to a live web host. And we're gonna cover that in a second video because it gets a little bit complicated. But the good news is that as long as your site doesn't get too big on your local hosting, you can do it completely for free. And it's relatively painless. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave me a comment down below. And do make sure to subscribe. This is a brand new channel, but I'll be bringing you fresh content every single week teaching you how to build, grow, and monetize your website. Now get out there and build something.